Hey, what's up guys, we're Apps here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download Xcode 9 Beta. Now, this applies to any version of Xcode 9 Beta. This is not how to download the final release version. If you want to download the final release version, you'll have to download that through the App Store, but this video is just for the betas. So anyways, let's get into it. So first of all, open your browser of choice, and we are going to head to developer.apple.com forward slash download. You may need to log in, but I am already logged in here. And you can see here Xcode 9 beta 4. And just go ahead and click download. And then save it wherever. I'm going to save it on the desktop here. And I will be right back uh, once it has downloaded. Alright, so looks like uh, Xcode 9 Beta 4, which is the current version, has now finished downloading. So, as you can see, it's on my desktop right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this to open it up. And as you can see, we get the archive utility here, and this will open up the uh, zip file. This part may take some time. Alright, it looks like we are almost done here. Alright, as we can see, it looks like Xcode beta here has installed right on the desktop here. So we're just going to double click and open this. This may take some time as well. And it looks like Xcode beta has opened. So what we're going to do is we're going to press agree here. Go ahead and type in your password. Hit OK. And now it's going to install the components. This may take some time, but it should be relatively quick. Alright, looks like it has finished here. And it is going to open Xcode Beta. This may take some time as well. And that's it. So now we have Xcode 9 Beta running on our system. Just to be sure, we're going to create a new Xcode project here. This will be a single view application. And uh, using Xcode 9 on the first time will be a bit slow. As we can see, we have AR Kit, and um, yeah, so this is new here in iOS 11. So that does mean we do have Xcode 9 successfully installed here. So just to test, we're going to create a single view app. And then just hit allow, 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 allow. And then just say, we're just going to call this test. Save it on the uh, desktop here. Go ahead and create it. It popped up right here. So here is Xcode 9. As you can see, our simulators are good here. And we're just going to head directly over to viewcontroller.swift and create a Hello World app. We're just going to have it print hello world. So just type in print brackets quotes hello world. And let's go ahead and run our app. Now, running the simulator on the first time and using Xcode 9 beta on the first time will be a bit slow. So this will take a bit of time here. And as you can see, we have the iPhone 7 Plus simulator here. It is just starting up right now. As I said, this is a beta software and it is a little slow usually on first boot. But here we are, the huge iPhone 7 Plus simulator here. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. everything 
If you have not seen my X19 overview video, you should see that now by clicking the eye icon in the top right corner. Anyways, we're gonna let the iPhone 7 Plus simulator boot up for the first time here. Again, uh, this will take some time as this is a beta software and it is also booting up for the first time here. So yes, this will take some time. It looks like we are almost done here with the initial boot up. And it looks like we are done here. This is the iOS 11 simulator here. This is the latest version of iOS 11. Um, this is the latest version of Xcode uh, according to the video here. Uh, in the future there may be a newer version but for now beta 4 is the latest version here. And our app is now loading. And as you can see our app has loaded and down here we have hello world. So that is cool as you can see this is the new iOS 11. Anyways, you might notice that Xcode Beta is currently installed on my desktop. But what happens if I want to install it on my applications folder? So we're going to do that right now, and I am quitting Xcode here to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Finder here and go into Applications. And just wait for this to uh, show up all here. Alright, once we're in applications, as you can see, there is the normal Xcode, but we just want to drag the Xcode beta, the actual software, not the uh, zip file. We're just going to drag this in, and just let it transfer, and there you go. So now, Xcode beta is now installed on the applications folder, and not on your desktop. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. You're, you can now delete this uh, zip file here, as Xcode beta is already fully installed. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.